<sighs> I'm glad that we're on vacation. Yeah, we. This is so nice. On the beach is something. I appreciate this vacation very much. Ah, I'm glad that I got the gold, you guys, too. It's a little stressful nowadays. Well, I think now's the time we check on... ...on Jacob... ...on the videos. Will we, guys? Sure, we ain't. I wouldn't mind... ...and looking at some of his old videos. Yeah, since me and Waluigi are basically new. Alright then. So, which that do you guys want to watch? Hey, what's that? Oh, that's the Marakuma reaction. Marakuma? We don't have a plush for him. Well, it's only on video. Do you guys want to watch it? Sure, I mean, Smash or something. Alright. Okay, I'll be throwing projectiles as my I neutral special. Interesting. But what are the five projectiles I'll be using on my foes? You know, this got me thinking. What, we? I mean, I'm going to do the comments, and people really love Monokuma. Yeah, I mean, it's got so many views! It's even more... worse than the K-Roll plush parody! It's Smash trailer. Hmm... You know, there is another dang Arapa character or that's got one of the... that they were in the Smash video. What do you say, Wii? What if I call a lot of and you could react to it? Do you think you'll allow it? That he would. Well, what are you waiting for? Call him! Okay, okay, I'll call him. Is it ringing? Yeah, it's ringing, it's ringing. Hello? Huh? Oh! Marakuma? Ah! What are you doing here? Hey, uh, remember that reaction video you did? And like a couple of years ago or something? Maybe? Well, it's got two... Well, 1.2k views. What? How is that possible? I think you're just really popular, that's all. I think you more really want another reaction. Well, they want me to give them more despair than... Sure. What's the video? It's another what if they were in a Smash video. But it's the opposite of your thing. Hope? Oh, you mean that one kid? Seriously? You want me to do a reaction on that main protagonist? Just do it, Monokuma. Besides, I think we'll get lots of views. I mean, they like you, so well, they definitely want to a comeback. Alright, fine. I'll go set up. Send me the link into it on my phone. Or in my database or something? Sure thing. Now go away! Kuma out! What are you saying? Well, he said that he'll do it. Okay then. Well, that takes care of that. Come on, let's go to this. He doesn't sleep. I hope it goes well. Yeah, I mean... If people like Monokuma that much, they'll definitely want to see more. Nyak, 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 nyak. Hello there, everyone! Your favorite it Despair Bear is back! That's right! It's me! E Monokuma! I looked at the at my last reaction video and you guys are really 
is super. Er, and you guys want me to do more. Or er, if there's a chance for bringing despair on these videos, then I'll definitely do so. Also, yeah, any other requests for uh, things other than Dangarapa or Dangarapa? But a stuff up or something that I think my, my voice actor can handle or something? Then I'll do it. So, we're looking at another what if if they were in Smash video. And this like with the main protagonist, which is ugh, Makato Onagi. Ugh, lousy protagonist. Eck. But in any case, I think like another Daniel Rapa character would be perfect for me. If I'm gonna bring despair. So in any case. I guess I should react to it. But I'm gonna hate this the whole time. Let's see if this Brawl Fam one and can do it again. Like he made my moveset as this as despicable human. <sighs> well, let's begin. In three, two, one, let's go. The massive high school towers over all the other buildings is like the dance of Yeah! It's my Hope Fee Academy! What? I like to make it big! So presentable is that anyone can be able to enter! Yeah! I accept the best of the best. I mean, we accept the best of the best. Before we go any farther, I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Makoto Naegi. Yeah. Oh, Naegi. How many of you people requested this guy? Really? 443 of you? Seriously, you guys like this guy way too much. Just a heads up, there are going to be major spoilers for the Danganronpa series in this video. Some pieces of footage in this video will also have their color taken away due to the graphic nature of these games. Overall, viewer discretion is advised. The reason why I'm not going to see it again, and because I already said it from my last reaction video, in any case, let's get on with this reaction. Makoto Nayagi, the ultimate lucky student turned the ultimate hope from the Danganronpa series. For some quick backstory, Makoto was just your painfully average run-of-the-mill student. The same kind of boy that you'd see just about anywhere. Yeah, a typical old boy stereotype at the back of the channel that nobody cares about. Despite this, something completely out of the norm would happen to him. He was randomly selected and given the opportunity to join one of the most prestigious schools in the world. My Academy! Hope's Peak Academy! A government-run high school where usually only students who are the ultimate in their fields may attend. But every year, the school holds a raffle to select a random normal student in the country to invite and deem as the ultimate lucky student. Yeah, even I don't know oh, why we have that raffle. I guess as we just choose a certain someone out of a big, big, big barrage of of care, you, people who are are most most experienced in their talents that we just chose a normal look human being and and to counteract with or something. Make him seem out of the crowd or something. And it's disgusting. Makoto was one of those lucky students. 
But as luck would have it, he would also find himself to be a part of the first killing game. <laughs> but I didn't think, but you guys play this guy. Hey. Man. And it's gonna be a murder mystery for all of you if you play my game. Nyah, 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 nyah. After the world fell to despair by the hands of one of his own classmates, he and the rest of his class had their memories wiped and were forced into situations where they felt no other choice but to betray and kill one another. But thanks to Makoto's determination and undying will to live on, he and his surviving friends managed to defeat the mastermind and escape from the killing game, earning him the title as the ultimate hope. And thinking about determination, I noticed that skeleton guy, the one and that has a glowing eye, he says that he has a, another person who has lots of determination. If you think that these two can go against each other, who will win and why? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, because I definitely want to see that human be this one. Dedicating his life to bringing as much hope as he can to those lost in despair, no matter how deep in they are. And today, we'll be seeing if Makoto is capable of spreading that hope to somewhere completely different. A place where both hope and despair exist in their most extreme forms. The world of Super Smash Brothers. So, hope and despair go against each other, and I heard that there was a guy called Sephiroth, and he's a bringer of despair. What do you think my reaction and with him would be? Hmm. But, also, which characters have the hope, and who has despair? I'm unsure, but... And I'm going on despair side because, hey, I'm all about despair. Yuck, 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 yuck. But let's see this, this foolish human try to get some attacks. So getting right into things, Makoto would be a generally lightweight fighter. Ha! Expected, he's just a normal person. He'd have two jumps and no additional movement options. Now, despite his undying hope, Makoto is still a pretty normal guy. No special powers, abilities, I don't think he'd even be able to handle himself that well in a fight. So as such, his fighting style is going to be themed around something else a bit more unconventional to a fighting game. And that but would... that doesn't mean he won't be fighting, he'll just be doing things his way. And that would be... Hmm, the gimmicks? Makoto's moveset will be built around a combination of various gameplay styles that we've seen from the Danganronpa games. Oh, which, for those who don't the trials. know, are mainly visual novels with logic-based puzzles that you have to solve in order to progress. Puzzles of which that take place during class trials. Class trials are what students are forced to endure when a murder occurs, with the surviving students needing to talk to one another in order to try to figure out who it was that committed the crime. Yeah, it's kind of like normal trial, but it's except for the whole big egg law thing or something. It's like Among Us, but not really. Among Us? Seriously? You have to shoot down your peers' arguments, present evidence to convince them of the facts, and slowly work your way to uncovering the truth. It's like Ace Attorney, but not really. Ace Attorney? He, people, this guy really thinks that at these class trials in my game, in my Among Us, us combined with Ace Attorney? Well, whatever, I guess. I mean, I accept a compliment, I guess? Not really. It's a bit more interactive, with you needing to catch the hole in their arguments as soon as they happen in real time. You are also on a time limit, so if you miss your chance, then that spells bad news. 
But just like in Among Us, credibility, or influence in this case, is a very important factor, with it representing your health in Danganronpa, just like in Ace Attorney. Oh, now I see. No more influence? Game over. And influence will also be a very important factor here. Because just like with any argument, the more influence you have, the more effective your arguments become. So as such, the more influence you have, the more damage all of your attacks will deal. Making it very much in your best interest to not make yourself look like an idiot in front of everyone. And whether or not you do will be entirely dependent on your actions. Huh. A stretch, eh? Hey? Using my trial skill... Well, the trials and the people's skills... To their own playing field. Interesting. I'm interested a little. Makoto's influence will be shown with a type of gauge. One that fluctuates depending on your actions. You can gain influence by landing attacks, dodging attacks, or by using certain moves that I'll go over later. But you lose influence whenever you miss attacks or get attacked yourself. And with that in mind, let's logic dive our way straight into just what attacks this average team could be using when going up against some of the toughest opponents that he'll ever have to face. Some with hope, some with despair, who would guess? Now let's see them. And we start off with the air attacks. Like I said, Makoto's moveset will be built around the various gameplay types that we've seen in Danganronpa, with a good chunk of them being inspired by the various class trial logic puzzles. Mm -hmm. But how he would be able to pull off these kinds of attacks did give me a bit of trouble. Th yeah, because in Danganronpa's 2, 1 through Three, you don't really have any weapons on the class trial. So how did this guy I managed to put it into a move set? That is, until I played a certain spin-off side episode starring Makoto's younger sister. May I introduce the hacking gun? Oh no! The Death Machine! A device created by the Future Foundation, the organization dedicated to fighting ultimate despair that Makoto and his friends joined after escaping from the first killing game. The gun. <laughs> it's a death of me. The hacking gun normally is a tool that shoots electromagnetic waves of programmed code designed to hack machinery from a distance. So you think that this could only be used on robots, and normally, you'd be right. But here, he'll be using a special type of hacking gun, as it'll be used as the catalyst for Makoto's moveset. Shooting and creating special types of attacks that all represent how Makoto and the many other students of the Danganronpa series fight to survive in the class trials. Huh. Interesting. The gun is deaf to me and the machine in Super Smash Brothers, but... How will this influence his moves? And of the many attacks that the hacking gun will give Makoto access to, the first will be Truth Bullets, fired straight as a break shot. Truth break bullets? was something that happened during class trials whenever you fired a truth bullet at the right statement that contradicts it, oh. breaking that person's point with the evidence that was loaded in that truth bullet. Oh break was also the main go-to ammunition oh. used by the hacking gun in Ultra Despair Girls, used to destroy enemies in your path, and it will be working similarly for this moveset, being a long-range projectile attack that's fired straight into a direction. The break bullet attack will be mapped to a few commands. It'll be Makoto's jab and side tilt, which will let him fire it straight forwards and even be able to walk forwards and backward while doing so. It'll be his up tilt, which will let him fire a oh. shot straight upward, and he'll have it as his neutral aerial, allowing him to fire a shot straight forward while airborne. Wow, knocking four birds with one stone. Clever.
Regardless of which is used, the break shots fire deal small fledging damage, but the moves can launch foes if they're hit while in point blank range of the hacking gun. But either way, it's a fairly weak move. They really aren't that spammable either. But you really don't want to be spamming it anyway. Instead, you want to be using this attack in a rhythm. If you shoot the break shots to a certain rhythm, the shots fired will slightly gain effectiveness, increasing both their power and influence earned if they land. Why? I rhythm. Is there something I'm not getting? After all, being both calm and concise is the best way to get your point across during any argument. You also don't need to use the same commands in a row to gain this effect. You can alternate between the jab, side tilt, up tilt, and neutral air all you want, just so long as it's the break shot that you're using. So you will lose the stacking effect once the rhythm is broken, whether that's because you stopped, used a different attack, or just missed the timing. This additional function overall references mm -hmm. bullet time battles from Danganronpa 1, panic talk action from Danganronpa 2, and argument armaments from Danganronpa V3. Oh, so that's why. All mini games that involve you pressing buttons to a rhythm to break down the argument of a student that refuses to listen to reason. Speaking of which, if you can keep the rhythm of the break bullets up for long enough, the shots could start doing a lot of shield damage as well, being capable of breaking their shields as if you broke their armor of arguments. Though remember, you gotta be patient when using this move in the long run, because even if you can keep the rhythm going, if all the shots miss, then you'll end up losing all of your influence before you know it. Now for Makoto's dash attack, this will be more straightforward as Makoto uses the knockback function of the hacking gun. Oh my! As the name suggests, knockback is great for knocking enemies away. So for this dash attack, Makoto will lunge forwards while shooting the knockback bullet, which will ricochet on him, leading to a bit of end lag, and it also deals relatively small damage compared to his other moves. But true to its name, if it lands on a foe, it will deal a ton of knockback on them. But so, knockback damage? Ouch! Potentially getting some early KOs on opponents who just aren't alert enough. For his down tilt, this time he'll use the Paralyze Bullet. <sighs> Another that's fairly self-explanatory. Makoto fires a Paralyze shot into the ground, and any foe hit by it will first be stunned in place, then launched away after the stun wears off. Now for Makoto's smash attacks, he'll be using Rebuttal Showdown. One-on-one -on -one confrontations introduced in Danganronpa 2 where you have to cut through your opponent's arguments with your own. Ow. And how is this done? By turning your words into a sword, of course. Huh. Guess it's really putting on a phrase. The pen is mightier than the sword. Or in this case... He's, the words you say are mightier than a sword. I don't know. But anyway, it can bring some despair. Nyak, 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 nyak. Because you just can't have anime without the sword. Um. Tell that to Pokemon. They don't have swords. Wait. Okay, some Pokemon have swords. But not. Every single enemy has a sword. Uh, ugh. Okay, now I'm just being nonsense. It's, it's. Are you being in anime racist or something? In, there are some anime that doesn't have a sword. Although the sword's cool and does bring despair when and they're killed. It's not every time a sword. Okoto is now truly complete. Ugh. Seriously? So this will be translated to Smash by having Makoto conjure a digital truth sword from the hacking gun that slices and stabs. With the side Smash having him swinging the blade overhead from back to front, mimicking the animation used when you cut through someone's statement in Danganronpa 2. Yeesh. And the up and down Smashes will be sword stabs that mimic when you cut through other statements in both Danganronpa 2 and V3. 
with the up smash having him stab the sword straight up vertically from low to high right in front of himself, and the down smash stabbing it horizontally from front to back low to the ground. I should also mention, as a universal function shared by all three smash attacks, the more influence you have, the more shield damage the smash attacks can do. Oh. And for Makoto's four cardinal aerial attacks, they'll all be a move that references the Hangman's Gambit. A minigame in all three main games that has you find letters to fill in a blank word, just like when playing Hangman. Though with more bullets. Yeah. I mean, hang me with bullets. That sounds like fun! And a spare full. <laughs> Koda will fire a shot burst from the hacking gun, which is signified by a reticle that appears at the hacking gun's barrel. It can go straight forwards, straight back, straight up, or straight down, depending on your chosen direction, with all four attacks doing the same thing. Foes in the reticle will be hit by the attack, which always launches them into the appropriate directions. Aside from the down air one, that just pops them up unless you can land the proper sweet spot. Then it will spike. Huh. A proper sweet spot on the down air for a gun. That would be difficult. I mean, look at other sort. Look at other guns slinging. In people that use is guns for their aerials. And to reference the functionality of the Hangman's Gambit minigames, if you can hit a single opponent with any of the Gambit aerials twice mm -hmm. in a row, the second shot doubles in power and knockback, and you earn a lot of influence from it. Whoa. Doubling after a shot? Impressive. Definitely bringing despair into this hope. But if you land a shot, then miss the second shot, you lose a bit more influence than normal. This only applies if you miss, though. If you hit a foe with the gambit, then hit a different foe with it right after, it just resets it. You won't lose anything. Oh. So, hit once, but then miss twice. <laughs> the people who use that move are sure as dead. Using the Hangman's Gambit aerials probably would require some getting used to at first, but hey, that's why they're called a Gambit. There's a bit more risk and reward with them. Though if you do find yourself really having a hard time learning to use it, you could always ask Kaede for some advice. She knows all about the Hangman, right, Kaede? Kaede? Oh, side brawl, Ben. And one... I ain't not here right now because I killed her. <laughs> I love me punishment time. Now back to the video. And grabs are next. Makoto's grabs probably will be his safest means of gaining influence since he always gets some from using his pummel and throws and will never lose any if he misses his grab. But to grab opponents, Makoto will be using the Link Bullet. The Link? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it fires links? A Link Bullet, which was a function that let the hacking gun take control of whoever it hit. So basically, it, it can take over a foe. Like in... In Bringers of Despair or the Digger of the Spinoff. Using that bullet, it turns an enemy. He has an ally or something. In this case, a shot will be fired, and if a foe is hit by it, they'll be forced into a mind controlled state where they can't get away and are forced to stand still in front of Makoto until when and if they break free. Oh. Makoto will pummel by using the silencer function, which is used to get rid of background noise that might be obstructing the topic at hand. Yeesh. Though in this case, it's just used to deal small chip damage without knocking the controlled foe back to their senses. Yeah, I think hypnosis happens. And when water splash, not by small clicks. 
The forward throw will simply have Makoto use knockback to send the foe forward. Ooh. The back throw will have Makoto force the foe to walk to the other side of him. Then once they're there, he uses knockback to send them <laughs> in the <laughs> direction. The up throw has Makoto force the foe to jump over him, which once again leads to Makoto using knockback, but this time to send them in the air above. Oh, yeah. And for my personal favorite, Ooh. the down throw will have Makoto shoot the foe with a dance bullet, which, as you can <laughs> guess, forces the target to dance. Yeah, shake it! Shake it! Shake it like a mama gave ya! Though in this case, this will force the foe to use one of their taunts, leaving them vulnerable to allow Makoto to follow up with any attack afterwards. And by the way, you won't be able to cancel out of this taunt. Oh. So you better hope that whatever taunt you're forced to use is a short one. And the B attacks. So something that I bet a couple of you have been worried about is the consistency of which that you'll be able to get influence. You're worried if you'll be able to reliably keep landing attacks to increase your damage output and not keep losing it. Well, fret not, because by using Makoto's neutral special, all of those worries will be mitigated. It can be concentration. Oh. This is an ability huh? in all three main games that allows you to slow your perception of time, as well as the arguments that fly across the screen, therefore huh? making them easier targets to hit. Okay. For Smash, holding down the special button will put Makoto into a concentrated state, of which will have a positive effect on all of his basic attacks. Whoa! His break bullets will gain a slight homing effect, letting them chase foes down for a bit, and the rest of his attacks all gain a bit of size, helping their range to make them easier to land. A great asset to have to make landing hits and gaining influence that much easier. Yeah. Ah. Uh, it's like that... Panda's inner peace or something. In immense amount of focus. But as to be expected, it can't be used all the time. Otherwise, you'd just be holding down the special button at all times and would never let it go. Concentration is powered by a gauge of stars that appears huh? above Makoto's head and quickly depletes while in use. It will slowly recharge while you're not using it, but best be careful, because if you let it completely drain out, his concentration will be broken. It will take even longer than usual to fill back up, and you won't be able to use it again until it is completely filled up. So it's a great tool, but be careful not to overexert it. That said, though, Ouch. if you ever find yourself at max influence, it will drain even slower and recharge a bit faster than usual. Okay, For Makoto's then. side special, he'll be showing off his six skills and big brain as he plunges into a logic dive. Logic a mini game dive, huh? where you ride your train of thought to come to conclusions based on your own logic alone. Talk about, like, mind surfing. This was a mechanic introduced in Danganronpa 2 and used again in Danganronpa V3 in the form of the Psych Taxi. But here, it will strictly be using the version from the second game. A virtual board is created from the hacking gun that appears under Makoto's feet, and he automatically rides it straight forwards. While riding it, you can turn around and jump, and you stop the special by pressing the attack button. It can be used for horizontal recovery, but using it in the air causes you to fall with a bit of forward momentum. And you can only jump with it from the ground, so you will have to be wary of that. As for how long you can use Logic Dive, it all depends on how much influence you have. As using the special slowly drains your influence gauge, and running out forces you to stop. So as such, it can't be used at all if you have no influence. Huh. So it's kind of like using... It's like, what if the run character from the run games was in Smash? <laughs> I hope I made you happy, cool math nerds. After all, if you spend too much time thinking about something, it may not look good to others who are waiting for your responses. Running into opponents, though, can mitigate this, as you gain a good amount of influence from colliding into foes in your way. Oh, okay. However, if you run into teammates while friendly fire is on, you lose a lot of influence. That wouldn't be a problem for people who don't use friendly fire. It's not very logical to hurt your teammates, after all. Getting attacked will also knock you out of logic dive, but there's not too much penalty for this outside of the influence that you'd normally lose from getting attacked. So this is another move that you want to use sparingly. 
However, if you do have some influence to squander, you can press the special button again while riding the board to spend some extra influence and do a charge. Whoa! You get a speed boost that shoots Makoto straight forwards with some super armor. Foes in your way take a ton of damage, and you get a lot of influence back if you can actually run into them. Yeah. Uh, it's like Donkey Kong's super armor or after you charge the neutral, but... It's running instead of just holding in place. Yeah. I managed to play some Smash after my reaction into what if I was in Smash. Making this speed boost a great asset. But like most everything in Makoto's moveset, you gotta use it wisely. Otherwise, you could end up losing both your influence and your stocks. Now for Makoto's up special, it looks like we have a split in opinions. Oh. So this calls for a debate scrum. This was a mini game introduced in Danganronpa V3, where if at any point the students were split between opposing opinions, Monokuma would have it be settled in a debate scrum. Where the students have to counter oh. each other's points until one side comes out on top. All right. But coming out on top is also taken quite literally in this case. Because yep. Monokuma also has the students' trial benches float high into the air to make it a skyrocketing debate. <laughs> Once the pillars are skyrocketing, I can just randomly choose those the two sides. Split them apart. Alright, let that conflict flow. And that same idea will be applied here for Makoto's up special. Activating it will cause a virtual trial bench to appear around Makoto from the hacking gun. And at the same time, he'll use the move bullet from the gun to cause the bench to start ascending into the air. Whoa. This bench will act as a temporary platform that only Makoto can stand in. It does have a max height to reach, but if you press the special button again while it rises, Makoto will force the bench to stop in that place. Like most up specials, this can only be used once while in the air, so Makoto has to touch the stage or get attacked before he can use it again. While standing in the debate scrum bench, you can of course jump out of it if you so wish to help with recovery. But you can also attack from it as well using the bench as a type of sniper's perch. And while standing in the bench, all influence changes, whether gained or lost, are doubled. After all, when you're a part of a debate, when it's your turn at the stand, all eyes are on you. And anything you say or do is even more effective than it would be normally. Yeesh. And finally, for Makoto's down special, he could have a counter in the form of a counter break. Counter! This attack more closely references how truth bullets work in the mainline games, where if someone says a statement that contradicts the evidence, you use that evidence to counter their statement and break it wide open. This is your run-of-the-mill counter, with Makoto going into a counter state, and if attacked while in that state, he'll retaliate with a powerful break burst from the hacking gun. But Whoa. like everything else in this moveset, this counter is not to be spammed because it is reliant on Makoto's influence. Like everything the else. The more influence you have, the more powerful the counter will be. And you do gain a lot of influence as well from landing this counter. However, every time you use counter break but then aren't attacked, you lose influence instead. Ooh. If you're going to have evidence ready to present, you have to use it when it's actually relevant. Trying to use it any other time will just make you look bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also cast the spare in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the final smash? For Makoto Nayagi's final smash! He'll have a cinematic final smash that I'm going to call the ultimate closing argument. Ooh. It's a smash that can only catch one foe at a time. And it starts with Makoto firing a hope bullet from the hacking gun straight forwards. And if a foe is hit by that bullet, then they will be pulled in. The okay. cinematic then plays out with manga pages quickly turning as Makoto in his mind puts together the whole crime in action. After which, he uses what he's concluded to pin this crime on the foe and brand them as the Blackened. Wow. Afterward, the foe takes a ton of damage and is launched away when the cinematic concludes. However, if their damage goes over 100%, 
it will be an automatic KO. After all, people branded as blackened in class trials usually don't walk away from them. Yep! Chain them to my shackles in punishment time all the way! And look at the other stuff. For Makoto's alternate colors, he won't have any. Because what? Because instead, he'll have seven alternate costumes that let you play as other students who fill the same role across the Danganronpa series. Then what are these costumes then? With the first alt being the ultimate detective from Makoto's class, Kyoko Hiragiri. Okay. The second can be another important friend of Makoto's, the ultimate affluent progeny, Byakuya Togami. All right. Next is the main protagonist from Danganronpa 2, a normal kid who highly admired Hope's Peak, Hajime Hinata. And as a fun detail for Hajime, mm -hmm. when he uses the final smash, he could take on the same awakened state that he does at the end of his game. The next alt could be okay. one of Hajime's friends, quote unquote. The hope-addicted ultimate lucky student who was chosen before Makoto and voiced by the same guy, Nagito Komaida. The next character right. can be the one who's actually known for using the hacking gun, Makoto's little sister, Komaru Nayegi from Ultra Despair Girls. Then right. for the final two, they'll both come from Danganronpa V3, with the first one being the main protagonist and the ultimate detective of his generation, Shuichi Saihara. All right. And for the final alt, it can be the pseudo-protagonist of V3, the ultimate pianist, Kaede Akamatsu. I should also bring up that there is a height inconsistency for these eight characters, with Makoto actually being the shortest, but I don't think that it'd be that big of an issue to slightly scale them all so that they fit on one rig. Size consistency has never exactly been a priority for Smash anyway. Yeah, I mean... Look at the alternate costumes for Steve. If the Enderman is tall in the game. But in Smash, they shrunk him down, but only made his arms short. Well, Steve has thick arms. So I guess Smash doesn't really give a crap. For these students' stage intro, it can show a large elevator come down and open up, with the student in question cautiously walking out of it with the hacking gun in hand, referencing how all class trials are preceded with students descending to the trial room in a large elevator. For their taunts, the first can show the student looking around cautiously and says a quote unique to them. The second can have them each doing their own pondering animation, as well as each say a unique quote. And the last one can have them hold out their hand and present a random pixelated gift. The same ones that you get from the Mono Mono machines. All after right. which they put the gift away. And for their victory animations, their first can have them hold the hacking gun up by their head to pose and says a quote relevant to how hope will never die. The next can have them point their finger to the camera and says a quote to the extent about how the truth will always come to light. And the final can just show them standing there looking off into the distance. It says a quote about how the day is won. Yawn. And that does it for What If Makoto Nayagi Was in Smash. So, if you enjoyed what you saw and would like to see even more characters be given possible Smash movesets, be sure to subscribe. And if you want to support the show and help me be able to make more content for you guys, you can click the join button either below the video or my main page to become a sponsor for my channel. Doing so will get you access to my private Discord as well as channel emotes. You can guarantee that your name appears in my videos or even get the option of knowing what What If character is coming up next a week in advance. I really appreciate anything that can be contributed. And of course, if you have a character that you want to see be given a possible Smash moveset, leave a comment down below or contact me on Twitter at Brawlfan1 on Twitch. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Okay, thank you for that, uh, Brawl Fan. So, about this? Meh. It's 
all right, I suppose. I mean, not as impressive as me, but it's definitely something. Ing? Though, about the quote thing? What would the quotes be? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, for all you Danganronpa fans out there. Er. So, yeah, that's my reaction. And there's any video oh, that you want me to request that could be Danganronpa related it or something else, leave it in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, like, and subscribe and turn on the notification bell for when this is y'all Dodger slash Jacob Dewards. Oh, this is a new video. Oh. I'll see you all next time. Monokuma out. Nya, 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 nya.